What's going on, everybody? My name is Alien Gamer, and I'm going to be bringing you a fifth, another 50 and three um, kill confirmed on Plaza using the almost the same loadout. So we got the PDW Diamond Camo, of course, um, with grip and silencer, and uh, yeah, perks same as before. I, I what are they off the top of my head? They are hmm, black jacket, hardline, scavenger, tack mask, and extreme conditioning. Yeah, because I, I don't. I like to run far, and I like to be the first person to places. But uh, that's not really. Uh, actually, yeah, I'm using the as you can probably obviously see, stealth dropper, V sat, and dogs. And uh, but the gameplay isn't really going to be what I'm talking about too much. I'm going to be talking about kind of uh, my my life. If you really wanted to, uh, if you wanted to know about me and stuff like that, then listen to this commentary. Um, so yeah, like I said, gameplay, it's, it's a good gameplay, I mean, 50 and 3, again, that's the second one in two days, I think, that I've uploaded 15 and 3, but, uh, yeah, so let's get started. So I was born September 4th, 1993, in Victoria, British Columbia, and if you don't know British Columbia, it's, a, it's on the very west coast of Canada, above Washington State, and, uh, yeah, so I was born September 4th, 1993, which makes me 19, as of September 4th, 2012, and, uh, yeah, my dad was in the Canadian Navy, so he was stationed out in Esquimalt, British Columbia, which is pretty much Victoria. And uh, yeah, they're, my parents are both originally from Toronto, Ontario, which is basically where I live now. But yeah, so once my dad got out of the Navy, I was around... I uh, can't remember if I was three or if I was four, but uh, one of the two. And we moved back to Ontario. Well, I, I, I shouldn't say I moved back to Ontario. My parents moved back to Ontario, and I moved to Ontario. Kill confirmed. So I moved to a place, well, I moved to pretty much Toronto, Ontario. So that's the biggest city in Canada. Uh, fourth biggest in North America. I No, sorry. Fourth biggest in Canada and the United Kill States confirmed. behind Chicago, New York, Kill and confirmed. Los Angeles. Um, yeah, so I moved there until around 1999. I lived in, in Toronto. My brother was born. It was a year after my brother was born. He was born in... December 14th, so he just, he actually just turned 14. Now, I mentioned that in a previous video. It was his birthday, but yeah, he was born December 14th, 1998, which makes him 14. And, uh, yeah. But a year after he was born, we moved to a place called, this is a small town, no one will ever have heard of it. Uh, it's called Bradford, Ontario. It's where most of Canada's, uh, carrots are, uh, actually grown. I think maybe even the States, too, a lot of the carrots. Yeah, it's, it's known for the carrots. Um, so yeah, I moved there. When I was around, uh, I was starting grade one. So I did kindergarten in Toronto, Ontario. And grade one, I started in Bradford, Ontario. And uh, yeah, I lived there till about, what, I was, uh, let's say 12. So grade seven. Friendly lightning strike and uh, yeah, I made a lot of good friends there. Friends that I still, to this day, some of them talk to on a, not a regular basis, but I mean, talk to sometimes. But uh, yeah. Um, when I, uh, no, sorry, um, where are we? Orbital v when I was 17, no, what the fuck am I going on about? <laughs> I just completely lost my train of thought, <laughs> sorry. But when I was 12, like I mentioned before, I moved to my current house now in Ajax, Ontario. Uh, Ajax, Ontario is, uh, it's not really significant. If you know the band Sum 41, they're actually from the town. They, they the original Sum 41 house where they did their garage stuff. It's about... I'd say six minutes from my house. It's just down a certain road. So yeah, I, I, that's honestly that's pretty cool. So I'm 41. They're a big band. But yeah, so I moved here. I moved to Ajax, Ontario, when I was 12 years old, almost 13. It was May of 2000, and I want to say five. May of 2000. And, no, May of 2006. So I've been here almost seven years. It'll be seven years this May. So yeah, 2006, and I moved here. I started to go. <laughs> actually, I went to a. Move, I, I went to a little school. <laughs> I went to a little tiny school. The school maybe had 150 kids in it. It was. The school's been around for, I'd say, almost 100 years. Little tiny school up in. Uh, it's about 20 minutes away from my house. It's just a tiny little thing. It's got a public library. Oh, sorry, I gotta clear my throat. It's just bothering me. <clears throat> it's got a public library right on the property, actually. It's, a, it's a God, the library, I think, is smaller than my house. And, uh, I died right there. But, uh, yeah. So, I went there, started that school in grade 7. So, obviously, grade 7 and 8 in Canada. We don't have middle school. So, elementary goes from junior kindergarten to grade 8. Some schools actually go junior kindergarten to grade 12 till you graduate. But, uh, 
none that I've actually ever heard of around here. So yeah, I went there until grade 9, and then I, I kept a couple of the same friends when I went to uh, high school. I went to high school, grade 9, 14 years old. I actually started high school on my 14th birthday. And uh, it's, it's oh, I can't I can't remember if it's, it's in the top 10 biggest schools in all of Canada, high schools that is. And uh, it's actually conjoined with a uh, with a Catholic school. I, I went to a public school. I'm not religious or anything. I'm an atheist. If that bothers you, well, I'm sorry. But yeah, so it was a huge school, around 5,000 kids total. And uh, I, I did my high school there. I had a lot of fun. We ended up owning our own road, pretty much. It was behind the school. It was a dirt road. We used to go back there and just hang out every day. No one else came back there. It was awesome. I'm not going to tell you what kind of things we did back there, but you can take a guess. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. And <laughs> so I graduated from high school after... Sorry, I should probably mention that I played hockey, sport hockey. Obviously, you know hockey. You may not be a fan of it, but you know of it. Played hockey for years and years, and I was really good. I, I played second highest level you could play. So it was double A, and the highest level you could play was triple A. And most triple A players end up going to play junior, and some end up going to play in the NHL. So I played double A, and uh, I was I was really good at hockey. I mean, it's I'm not trying to be cocky or anything. It's just the truth. It's one of the things I was really good at: hockey and skateboarding. That's about it. Nothing else. Maybe Call of Duty. I'm pretty good at, but uh, not school. Not nothing. But uh, yeah, so I graduated from high school barely. I mean, I failed a couple classes. I was doing some bad things. I ended up getting. Uh, I actually. My worst year, I ended up failing a grade 11 law class while I was in grade 12, and I also ended up failing, uh, what class did I end up failing? Math. I mean, I got a 21% in math, but that's because, like I said, I had a certain friend that I would just do bad shit with, and, uh, yeah, it was, it was bad. So I ended up failing that bad, and, uh, had to, had to, uh, get rid of a spare. A spare is where you have enough credits and you don't need to... You don't. You get a couple of spare periods, like you don't have to do anything. But uh, so yeah, I barely ended up graduating high school at this point, and uh, I think that'll be it for this video. I'll carry on in the next video. So that was high, or that was my life story part uno, and we'll carry on to my life story part deuce, dos, body toast, whatever. Next time. So I want to thank you guys for watching and for tuning in for the whole thing. I appreciate it, and uh, peace.